In a crisis of such magnitude perhaps not yet seen at under Jurgen Klopp, the Reds boss would want most of his big guns ready to attack the battle and win the war. But instead, stars are falling away like pieces on a chessboard leaving mostly pawns behind, and giving Klopp an even bigger problem to solve. What came first, the injuries or the crisis? It's a bit like trying to solve the chicken or the egg theory. There's no clear answer, but it's obvious injuries are contributing to decline. Any team missing the likes of Virgil van Dijk, Roberto Firmino, Diogo Hoda and Luis Diaz is going to struggle. Now Adam is firing and Joe Gomez to that mix, and squad is looking really threadbare, not really ideal considering the club is heading to arguably the biggest game of the year so far against Everton having yet to win a game in the in 2023. A 3-0 demolition away from home against Wolves is only the tip of the iceberg for Liverpool. Problems go way deeper, but if anyone can control and solve the mess at, it's the Liverpool boss. His ability to pull the team together and motivate his players is one of his greatest assets, and it's not like he hasn't been in a similar situation before. Back in the 2020-21 season, another injury crisis hit Liverpool at the start of the year, and the Reds went on a run of six consecutive defeats at in what almost certainly looked to doom them from qualifying for football. Yet somehow from the brink, Klopp was able to step away from the precipice and ascend upwards in the kind of steep incline that would seem impossible for others. Out of nowhere, a dramatic last-minute header by Allison at West Brom was enough to herald the most sensational Liverpool revival. There is no reason why Klopp cannot do the same again here. But in order to do that, he may have to start shifting his team around. Right now, Liverpool just seems short of confidence and very rugged on all parts of the pitch. team needs to go a little bit old school and turn back to the basics. The first and foremost principle is that Liverpool needs to stop conceding goals. Especially in the absence of Van Dijk, the left-sided centre-back position has been a bit of a problem for Liverpool. Neither Gomez nor the currently injured Ibrahima Konate are quite comfortable in that role, and thus, Klopp should look to bring in a forgotten star, who is. Nat Phillips is exactly the kind of old-school, no-nonsense defender who could not only provide solidity at the heart of the Liverpool defence, but who is also comfortable playing in the left-sided centre-back role, where he has played his last two appearances this season. Back in 2020-21, it was Phillips who helped backline crawl their way out of a crisis, and perhaps this time around Klopp could call on him once again. It might be a big gamble considering he is merely a fringe player at. But after all, at this point, the Liverpool boss has nothing to lose. It's simply worth a punt if Van Dijk is not back and fit enough to start against Everton. Even if he is, there is an argument for pairing him with Phillips over the other underperforming options.